What's up guys, Geo here. I wanted to quickly go over some new connections I've come across about Infinite Warfare Zombies. The first thing I came across was a picture over on Twitter of somebody pre-ordering Infinite Warfare and it actually says pre-order for Terminal Zombies map. It's probably a typo, but things just get deeper. Now this is where shit just starts getting crazy. I found a video over on YouTube from Zombified HD that actually has a Zombies Easter Egg inside the Terminal map. There's a group of papers back on the floor in the security area, and a bunch of them have the Spaceland letterhead at the top of them. Now this just brings up all types of questions. Like why would a fictional movie be connected to an airport? Or is Spaceland actually a real theme park in that world? If so, why is there documents of Spaceland in the airport? Then the questions just keep coming, like why is Willard connected to Spaceland? And what is he using to transport our characters into this movie. Is it really a movie, or is it an alternate timeline? Could Wyler have found something like the Cronorium used to transport them? Or did he find the actual Cronorium, and this is connected to Treyarch zombies somehow? Doubtful. The main game is set in the future, and zombies is set in the 80s, so is Willard going in the past to try to save the future, or does he have some kind of evil alternative motive? And how did Hasselhoff get stuck in the movie? He seems really happy about it. Does Hasselhoff and Weiler have some kind of Richthof and Maxis connection? And last but not least, did I mention uh, Willard Weiler is Pee Wee Herman, aka Paul Rubens? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Well that's it for this one guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and if you can think of any more questions, let me know. Peace!